Okay, we're going to begin with the very basics of copybotting. And we're going to start with exporting items out. And I think the easiest and simplest place to start is the prim and sculpt export. And there are two ways of doing this. One is for uh, prim and sculpt wearables like hair or prim and sculpt wearables like items and houses like this stuff around me. So I managed to dig around in my inventory and I found this wonderful skybox and we're going to be using this as our example for today. So let's start with wearables because that's always the easiest and most requested to start off with. So let's say you have a prim and sculpt hair. I have this old sculpty hair from Truth and I'm going to show you how to export it. So you want to make sure that you're wearing the hair that your items or wearables that you want to wear. <laughs> you want to make sure that you're wearing the wearables that you want to export. If you res them on the ground, you'll have to adjust them on your body when you import it back in world. So you don't want to do all that, uh, you know, realigning and stuff. Make sure that you're wearing it um, instead of resin it on the ground. So I'm wearing this hair and I'm going to just right click on it, go to dark storm and then XML export and you'll bring up this XML export options and it'll show you everything that makes up my character right now and I just want to export the hair and none of this we'll talk about this in another video but right now we're just going to focus on the hair so I'm just going to check this box here that's the hair and then you're going to go down here and check download textures well if you're just exporting it for second life use you don't have to check this box but if you're exporting your item out for other worlds like open sim or in worlds you will check this box and what it does is download all the textures and assets that make up this hair minus the scripts or sounds or animations and stuff like that it's just the textures for the most part and somebody's looking at me hi eternal hope <laughs> um, you would do that and then you would just press export um, what it does is uh, downloads all the textures and stuff that makes up this hair and puts it all into a folder and tells that XML to get the, instead of looking for this, um, the textures on the Second Life server, to look for it inside of the folder and then put it in. So we're just going to check this because, you know, we're always happy for our dark our open sim friends and press DS export and it's going to tell us to where you want to save it. I've done a tutorial a couple times now, so I'm just going to hit save here and yes and yes and then it'll tell you that it's taking its time to download it. Sometimes it may fail and it may not get all the assets. Just try it again and maybe the second time around it'll get everything. So now that we have our... Um, what's this called our hair export it we're going to import it back in because what's the point of export if you don't know how to import so we're going to go up to the top where it says dark storm and we're going to press import xml slash link sets and we're going to import our hair now if you're on dark storm not dark storm if you're on open sim or anything that's not second life you are going to have to check this upload texture box or else your upload won't upload right um if you are on second life and you check this box it's going to charge you 10 l per every texture that's uploaded so you don't want to do that you just want to make sure that it's unchecked for second life checked for os since i'm still in second life i'm going to uncheck this box and i'm just going to do ds import and you'll see that it starts building in front of you so make sure that you're in a place where you can build and nobody is around or whatever just or just go to a sandbox people don't care <laughs> so we're going to wait for it to import all the way and then it's going to snap onto my head and that's how you it actually fixed itself <laughs> all right so it snapped onto my head and now i have a copy of my hair and that's how you import and export um mesh and sculpt not mesh i mean sculpt and prim wearables so i'm going to just hit okay and close it you can't import if that window's open so you have to close it when you're done now let's talk about things like um objects the process is pretty much the same except for you may not get that window so we're just going to right click on the object go to dark storm and xml export and it's just going to show you everything that makes up the um 
the object. Same thing applies if you want to take um, your object into OS, you would click the texture. If you don't want to, it's not OS, you don't have to. But I like to do this just in case because you never know if you want to edit the textures, you will just be able to have them. So we're just going to hit Darkstorm Export and it will keep the name of the object. Hit Save. And you do the same thing. Go up to the top, press Darkstorm, Darkstorm Import XML Link Set here, and we're going to switch this 3D block. Now, different thing here is um, you'll see this button use previous region position and this helps out if you're exporting something and you want it to be exactly in the same spot we had um, got it from so I'll show you what I mean by that I'm gonna delete this right here hopefully it, it does that no, I'm gonna close this then delete this come on I think the region is like yeah. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go back up here to Darkstar Import the block and we press use the previous region location and it will should res exactly where we got it from on the sim. Now, when you're on um, what's it called? Open sim, you can still do the same thing, especially when you're trying to rebuild your own sim and you want to put everything back exactly how it was on your land. You can just put it there. So you push that button, it will be exactly how it was in world with the same position coordinates. So that's pretty much everything you need there is to know about exporting and importing prim and mesh sculpt. Oh, prim and mesh, so use the same mesh, prim and sculpts. Um, We'll go to the next tutorial and show you how to do something else with Darkstorm.